In this segment, we'll be covering LDAP setup with the VTrack A class. The VTrack A class supports both Active Directory and Open Directory. To configure LDAP, use the web based Promise Array Manager, WebPAM. Navigate to the Administration tab, click on the LDAP Settings tab on the right, select Click to Change LDAP Settings, and from the pull down menu, select Enable External LDAP Server and click Save. As you can see, our A class has been fully configured. From here, you can select the appropriate LDAP server. The three options are Windows Active Directory, Mac Open Directory, or Linux LDAP without PDC, and Linux LDAP with PDC. You can now enter the various configuration settings for your LDAP server. We suggest you save the completed configuration before using the test button. The Promise Knowledge Base at kb.promise.com has an article on configuring LDAP with the A class. Search for LDAP and select KB10398. This KB gives an example configuration for an LDAP server. To configure an LDAP server, you must enter various information, such as the base domain name, group domain name, the LDAP server IP, the server bindings, and other attributes. Most of this information will come from the LDAP server itself. If anonymous bindings are not used, then the AD password will be requested. As before, it is best to save the configuration before clicking the test button. As a reminder, please reference Promise Knowledge Base Article 10398 for more detailed information. This concludes LDAP setup with the VTrack 8 class. In our next video, we'll demonstrate how to use Promise's top-notch technical support.